Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz and in today's video, I'm so excited to finally share this with you guys. I am showing you my complete office tour. Now you may be wondering like what's going on? You have an office now. Well, if you follow me on Instagram and if you're not, you should because about two months ago, I mentioned that I was renting out a new office space and you may be wondering why I rented out an office space. Well, there's actually two reasons. The first reason was basically filming and doing my YouTube videos was taking over my house. And yes, I can always do them from my house but it would just be so nice to have a space for filming. The second reason is that I wanted to start working with employees in person. I work with several contractors virtually from video editing to other tasks that I need done on my channel, but I really wanted to start working with people one-on-one -on -one to help me with filming and content and some other really exciting projects that I have planned and in the works. So in order to work with the staff, we discussed whether we wanted that at our home home or an office and the best thing for our family was just an office so I scoured my town to find a really inexpensive spot that was a perfect size for me and I think I found a great spot when I put together this office it was like putting together a mini apartment because there was just so much that went into it so if you're watching this it's not gonna be all office stuff I'm gonna show you my filming space how I organize my crafts also how I decorate living spaces spaces so I think you're really going to enjoy it so the office that I rented was around 760 square feet it came with four different rooms and then a tiny little kitchenette area and when I rented it it was beige walls and I kind of felt bad because they had just painted it but I knew I was gonna have to repaint it because beige walls just weren't gonna work well for filming so I wanted to show you guys how everything looked before I do anything to it. So this is the door whenever you walk in. And this room I'm thinking is going to be more of like a lounge and eating area type of room. And then if you walk in here, this is going to be the main office area. So I'm gonna probably put in maybe like three desks in here. And then there's two offices so in this office this is going to be the filming space it's the biggest office so i think it's going to work well i'm thinking that i'm going to put my backdrop along here and this is plenty of room for all of my filming equipment and lights and everything and then i'll probably have some kind of storage over here just to kind of house all of my equipment and then this office in here is probably going to be my office. And um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll definitely have like a desk, maybe a couch, something in here, um, but I'm excited about that. I love the big window and it opens up, which is really nice. And then it also has just kind of this like small little kitchen area. I wish I could redo it. I don't know, we'll have to see about that. But I will be putting in like a small fridge and a microwave and all that stuff. And then the bathrooms, not the best, but for an office, it's okay. So the first thing I did was paint these walls white. I knew that was the way I needed to go. So I painted the walls with the color Simply White by Benjamin Moore. This is a color that I've used in my house, so I knew that it would work just fine. So once I got the walls painted white, I think it totally changed the space. So we're gonna start at the entrance and I'm gonna walk you through the office and I'll show you everything and I'll try to tell you where I picked up everything, but if I have a link for it, I will put it down in the description box so I don't have to say that a million times. So if you're looking for anything, just click on the arrow on the side of the screen and you should be able to see all the links in the description box. If I don't put a link there, I probably don't have a link for it. All right, so when you first walk into my office, this is the room that you will be in. And I wanted it to be kind of like a lounge slash eating area. I have a tiny little kitchenette area. So I wanted a place where we could eat lunch and it was just kind of an easy place to hang out because I don't always sit and do my work at a desk. Sometimes I like to hang out on a couch or sit in a comfy chair. So I wanted it to feel kind of homey. 
So I have this cute little hook here for hanging your coats on. I created this in an Ikea DIY video. I will link it for you. Um, but I wanted something right there. This mirror I actually picked up at Home Goods. When I looked online at mirrors, they were like $200 and I wanted a full length mirror here. So I think I spent like $60 for this mirror and I think it looks perfect there. I love the way it looks. Okay, so over here is the seating area. So this is the seating area. I spent so many hours looking for the perfect couch to put in this space. This one ended up being on I ended up finding this one on walmart.com. It was only $400 and you guys know I love blues and greens. So this just ended up being like the perfect color for me. So I went ahead and grabbed it. The other thing is I didn't have a lot of space in this room. So I needed like a small love seat. So this worked out perfectly. All of the pillows are from two places. So either they're from Amazon, like this one, or I did grab some of them at Ikea. Like this one is from Ikea. This little green one was the cover I got off of Amazon. And then I had pillows at home and I just filled them. Behind the couch, I picked up this cool window at a vintage market uh, called First Fridays in Kansas City. And it's got this little cutout and I think it just looks so cool here. These tables that I'm using as coffee tables, they're actually stools. I needed something really small for this room. So these are stools that I used as an end table at my house. And I just put you know some decorations that I already had on hand because you guys know I have a ton of decorations. This little lamp is so cute. I picked this up. It's I think it's part of like a Magnolia home at Target and it's got this like cool little thing. It's got like a little vintage light bulb in it and even the cord of it is like black and white and vintagey. So I thought that was really cute. So my favorite thing in this room has got to be my Liz Fimwick DIY sign. I had somebody make it off of Etsy and it's a like I would say a thin piece of wood and somehow they cut it out with their machine and it took forever to get here but I love it I think it turned out great and it's a perfect little wall art in this little space this chair I actually found at Target and I bought two of them thinking that I would have room for both of them which I didn't but I put the other one in another room and I'll show you that in a minute but this chair was, I think, $200, and I love the look of it. I couldn't find one online for less than that, and I think it looks really good. This little blue pillow is from my house. Again, most of this stuff is from my house. Now, I want to talk to you about the rug. I think rugs can be a really tricky thing to purchase, especially buying them online. So I think the most important thing is to make sure you get the right size. So once I got everything laid out in the space, I came in and I measured out how big I wanted my rug because if I didn't get it right, it would have looked crazy in this space. So I really had exact measurements and for my rug, what I wanted it to do was one, to cover up my my ugly brown carpet and two was to frame out this little seating area really well and I think the size rug works well and it actually pulls in with the blue and it looks really great in the space and I did grab this one off of Amazon Now for my table, I grabbed this at Ikea. It's their round table. And honestly, it was bigger than I thought it would be. I went with it because I really love the table. For the chairs, you guys, I found these. I got four for $200. So they were 50 bucks each off of Amazon. And I just kind of wanted to play off those blues and green. And they fit the table really well.
So the next space I'm going to show you is the main office space. And this is the space I probably decorated the least at this point. I have two desks set up in this space. Both of these desks are from Ikea. Honestly, I looked online. I looked at so many different places and Ikea was the most reasonable for desks. So we bought a couple of these and set them up in here. The chairs that I bought, I did a lot of review searching to see which were like comfortable and the best support chairs. I ended up picking these up off of Amazon. This cabinet over in the corner, I have a bunch of office supplies in there right now. I plan on putting a printer there. I just haven't bought that yet. Now for both of the wall art pieces, I showed you how to to put those together in my five wall art DIYs. This one over here was really easy. I used some Ikea frames and some poster board from Dollar Tree and I painted on those little swirly, I guess, blue motif. I think it creates a nice statement on the wall. On the other wall, I just printed out this really large printable that I created. I wanted to have like some motivational art in here and I think that that looks really nice. Next, we're moving into my filming space and this has got to be one of my favorite rooms to show you guys and it's really all of my filming space dreams. So when you walk in, you see these shelves that I have up here. These are actually Ikea shelves that we put together. Really, Ikea has been out of so much lately, and this was probably like my second or third choice of what I wanted for shelves. But I really do like the way they turned out. And you can see that there's not a ton of stuff on them. What I decided I was gonna do was just bring my essentials from my craft room at home. And then as I needed stuff, I was going to bring it up here because I wanna see what I actually use and what maybe I could get rid of in my craft room at home. So as you can see, these are pretty bare. I did start organizing things in these white tubs from Dollar Tree. Like I put all my rope in here. So I have started some organization, but we'll see, you know, like what I end up using. One of this lights like in my face. Hold on, let me move it over. <laughs> One of the really cool things about this office is I have the two windows that provide me with some natural light, but I also still need my lighting set up for filming. Now, I did keep two of my lights at home and those are my soft boxes. And then I purchased these new. I don't like them as well as my soft boxes and I'll probably end up bringing those up here. The only benefits of these smaller lights is they're just more compact. And then I have another light on the other side. And my old setup, it was just two soft boxes. So I do really like this light. And the other cool thing about this light, I know this isn't a lighting video, but I can flip it up towards the ceiling if I'm doing like a whole room shot and it just gives like a nice light to this room. So I do like this light. Over here, this is an Ikea shelf that I had from home. This is where I keep all the filming equipment, my paint. This is like glue stuff. This is stuff that I grab for like all the time. So now I know you wanna see my backdrop. I created a whole entire video of how I put this backdrop together. It is up on my vlog channel. Do you guys know I have a vlog channel? It's called Liz Fenwick Vlogs. And I post a lot of videos that don't make it on this main channel. So make sure you go follow me there and I'll link that below too. But Chris and I essentially made this backdrop from pieces of plywood and we drilled holes in there. It was tedious to do, but I have a whole wall of backdrop. Now, why do I need a whole wall? Well, one, I wanna start doing different angles when I'm filming. So you get my front angle, you're also going to see me from the side. So I wanna start incorporating more fun shots whenever I'm filming. So I needed a whole entire wall. I had a lot of fun decorating it and putting little things on there. Some of the stuff here is functional and some of it is seriously purely decorative. So like these little brushes, those I don't use, those are decorative. But like right down here, I have a basket with all of like my foam rollers. And let's see, these little containers I bought at a vintage market. I put like um, Mod Podge in here and little paints. So these I for sure use. 
The cool thing about this backdrop is I can change it up. So I figured for like different seasons or when I get sick of it, I'll maybe, you know, just like change out the colors or what I'm doing. So we'll see. So next I want to show you my craft table because I love it. I bought this craft table at a store called Good Juju and it's that vintage market that I go to once a month and I usually post a vlog on my vlog channel um, if you guys want to see that but I wanted something cool and rustic that if you look at it from the front it's really cool but it's also functional for me. The coolest part that I added was over here on the side. So if you guys are Ikea people, you know that they sell these craft rolls. And before I was buying like poster board because you can't really craft on your actual table. Otherwise you just get your table all messed up. I was buying blue poster board and it just, it didn't work out well. So my solution to that was to get this craft paper from Ikea. I also bought some magnetic hooks to stick right onto my craft table since it's metal and a dowel rod. And now I can just pull up that paper and then this is the end of like a picture holder. But honestly, I could use a piece of wood and I can just pull the paper over and that's what I craft on. And then when it gets all messed up or I get paint all over it, I just cut it off and throw it away. It's like the best thing ever. So I'm so excited about this. It's my favorite thing about this craft room. Going back to lights really quick, the other light that I have is what I call my overhead light. And I keep this above me. Now you can see how it's kind of like shining on my head right now. If I was to turn that light off, I would just have a lot of light here and this backdrop wouldn't be lit up and the back of me wouldn't be lit up. So it's really important to have an overhead light as well. So I got my two lights there, one light here. Now you may be wondering like what this is, and usually you can't see it in the shot, but I left it there. This was a new addition to my office. And I basically bought a new stand so that I could do a direct like overhead shooting of me crafting. Typically what I do is I would get my tripod up there and I'd shoot it down as best I could, but I really couldn't get it high enough to cover my whole entire table. So this gives me an overhead shot and so I like having the additional camera up there so I've definitely upped my game as far as my lighting and my additional like camera angles. I have a little cart over here. My thought process was that I could wheel it up whenever I'm crafting. I haven't done that yet but I did put together this toolkit that I've been using and I just kind of put like my essential crafting things in here. So if you want me to do more detail about that, let me know in the description box. But it's basically like my tape, hammers, glue, anything that I reach for like frequently I put in here. So if I need to like grab it and set it on my table, I can do that as well. And I wanted to also tell you the rug I got off of Amazon. I wanted it to kind of blend in with the carpet that's in here because I got this brown carpet, which isn't the best, but I wanted it to completely cover my crafting space so that I didn't ruin the carpet. So it's, I think, an 11 by 11 rug. Okay, so now that you've seen my craft room space, I wanna show you my office. So I'm probably most excited to share with you guys my office. I probably spent the majority of my time decorating in here, but I love the way it turned out. As you can tell, I like having couches and comfy spots. Most of the time so far when I'm working in here, I'm working at my couch, unless I want to do my desk as like a stand-up desk, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. I had a big challenge with this couch because it had to be under 80 inches, but I wanted something a little bit bigger than a love seat. So I ended up buying this on Amazon. Amazon has like a new line of couches. I don't even remember what they're calling it. I'll link it for you. But I went ahead and grabbed this and I do really love it. This is the pillow from the other room. 
and then that's the Ikea pillows. Most of Amazon's pillows come in a pack of two. So um, I don't usually like putting like matchy matchy pillows on a couch, but you can split them up and put them in different areas of your house. I also put the chair in here that you guys saw in our lounge area. And I think it works well in here because I like to have like conversation areas. I created this bench and a little tray on an Ikea DIY video. I will link those for you as well. I found this at the thrift store and I thought this was the perfect little piece to set out on this tray. So I put it here. Now you may be wondering about this piece behind me. This wall art piece, I did a whole video on it. I'll link that below for you. But essentially I was searching on Pinterest and I came across this pottery barn piece. It was $200 and I love the way it looked, but I looked at it and said, I can redo that. That's what I do with everything. I just think, okay, how can I redo that for less expensive? I think in the end, I want to say I spent $25 on it. And essentially what it is, is just a bunch of boards that were cut down to size, stained on one side and painted on the other side. It was really easy to do. It took a little bit of time, but I saved $175 by not having to buy it. And I think it looks so good up here. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you guys like this piece or not. The hanging plants, I actually picked up the hanging planters at World Market. The plants are from Ikea. Ooh, I didn't tell you about the rug yet, you guys. I was really excited to get this rug. This is actually one of the newer rugs at Ikea. And I have to tell you, every time I've gone to Ikea, I would say about half of their stuff is out of stock. I know it's not their fault and things are just a lot harder to manufacture, but I get so bummed out. And so I was excited that I saw this rug online and that I actually was able to pick it up. One of the best things about this rug is it's perfect for putting over existing carpet. And I wanted to cover up the carpet in this office, but it's a really thin layer rug. So it's perfect for putting on top of carpet and like it also goes underneath my door. So my door can easily open and shut with it. So I do really like this rug for that purpose. My desk. I posted my desk on Instagram and I got so many comments. Like people are like, where did you get this? So I saw this desk originally from somebody off of TikTok. They posted it and I was like, that's the desk I need for my office. But it was at Costco. And so Chris and I went to Costco one day and I found it. It was around $300. It's heavy. Like I carried it up the stairs to get to my office and it is heavy. It has a glass top. It raises and lowers, which is cool. So if you're somebody who likes a standing desk, you can have a standing desk or you can sit down at it. The thing I really liked about it is, you know, sometimes with desks, like your chair just doesn't slide under as well. I like that I can raise and lower it depending on the height of my chair. My chair is just one that I brought from home that I already had. The other thing it does is it has USB ports on the side and it has a little thing where you can charge your phone up. Behind my desk, I'm loving it. I painted this cabinet and I actually painted it on my vlog channel, Liz Femic Vlogs. I'll link it for you. You guys, if you're not following my vlog channel, you are missing out because I post a lot of videos there. I try to do a video once every weekend or every other weekend, depending on like how much I have going on on this channel. So, um, but I try to put them out pretty frequently. But for the cabinet, I painted it with two coats of white and then I put some cane webbing on the front. That was the first time I'd ever done that. It was a little tricky, but I like the results of it. Behind it, I found this really cool window at the vintage market I go to in the West Bottoms in Kansas City called First Fridays. And I just think that looks so cool. And you guys know that's like my favorite color, that like duck egg blue color. The print I created in that five large wall art pieces. And in that video, I give you this print as a free download. I think I had like five different printables that you can download and use, you know, however you want. So I just love motivational art and I think it's perfect for the office.
Now the plants are from my house, so I just brought those. One is an olive tree from Amazon. The other is a plant. You guys have seen that one in my living room. Um, now the lamp, on the other hand, I was at Home Goods the other day and came across that lamp. It's completely ridiculous. It's you know over the top. I think it's perfect for like a girl office especially you know i always like to try to put something in the space that's unexpected and unique and i think that that lamp does it now the only thing i have to do is make sure that caroline doesn't just like every time she comes into the office she's like going like this and touching the feathers so i'm afraid like all the feathers are either going to be smushed down or they're going to be discolored so we'll see how long it lasts but i think that looks really cool now i do have two blank walls in this office but that's okay you guys know i create things all the time so i figured at some point i would create something and it would look great in here the last two areas that i want to show you are smaller areas and i haven't done as much to them i am lucky enough to have a little kitchenette area here which is great i have a little mini fridge and a microwave i actually had these at my house so i just brought them here and then this is a great little storage area i have a bunch of filming equipment and things like that now this unit also has has a bathroom which is really nice it definitely needs a makeover and I don't think that's something I can do but when we did move in we did paint it white I will probably add some wall art in here eventually but for now it works Again, you guys, I'm gonna link everything that I talked about in this video down in the description box. I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of behind the scenes of my space. I wanna tell you guys how thankful I am for you watching my videos. And I want you to know that you are the reason that I have this office right now. You're the reason that I've been able to make so many of my dreams come true. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll stick with me. I want you to know that I love doing this. I wake up every day and think about what new video I can create for you. And I'm always trying to make things better. If you're somebody who's been here with me from the beginning, or if you just found me yesterday, Thank you so much. And I just can't wait to make more videos and bring you along on this journey. So I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.